Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is kind of a two-in-one review um, with the My Package, or the now called Beneath uh, Pro Base Layer Pant. So, and the Saks Kinetic Base Layer Pant. Um, so, they're both pretty similar. The companies to me seem pretty similar. I have the underwear for both of them. Um, and I got a pretty good deal on both of these. Decided to grab them to see how they are for base layers. I'm always like like to try out new things and see how they work, uh, especially because my goalie stuff gets really hot. I ended up grabbing both of these and trying these out. So I'm gonna do kind of a review of them so far and what I think about them. I think they both retail for about $80 US. Um, I paid about 30 or 25 Canadian each for them, about $30 Canadian each. Um, so first, I guess we'll go over the my package ones. So the my package ones are actually an extra large, and the Saks ones are a large, and they're both about the same size. Um, when I actually wear them, they, they these ones I guess feel a little tiny bit tighter, um, but length and everything is pretty close. I did a sizing guide chart on them, and they both kind of lined up to what I normally wear, so I, that's why I grabbed them that way. Um, so for the my package one, they obviously have the nice little. Uh, cup and housing for your junk right there and that does a pretty good job of holding everything in place um, So I wore both of these for goalie and player Basically what I decided was whatever one worked better for me for player I'd stick with player and the other one would be for goalie um, Because I have issue more issues with player gear for all my stuff um, being Compact and kind of staying where it's supposed to with my jock So I, I kind of tested both of them out for both positions um these are a very nice base layer. Um, they do a good job of kind of keeping you cool so you're not sweating too much and so like you don't really overheat as well as not feeling like too sticky and gross to you after like a hard workout. Um, these do a very good job of keeping everything in place. They do, an, for my player stuff, it was a bit more of an issue um, just because of how this kind of sits. It was a little bit flatter than I would like. Um, so the sacks end up being my player one. My other, or look at the back really quick. And so they do have some nice ventilation along the sides or along the top here. And as well, as well um, I believe it's on the back of your legs right here. So it does keep you cool and it's very comfortable to wear. It feels very well. It's, it's light, light compression. I think they're advertised as compression. Um, it's very light compression. It's like tight, but it's not really that tight. Light compression is the best way to define it. It has a very tiny waistband, so you can see here how like thin this waistband is. Um, I like a thicker waistband like on the sacks. I find it just helps it stay in place a little bit better and so stuff doesn't move around, especially when you have a jock and a garter belt and everything sitting there. This can kind of move and shuffle where a thicker one kind of just, I find, holds its position pretty good. Um, I would definitely recommend checking these out. I will probably end up wearing these when I go like hiking over in Europe. Um, especially in the winter months just because it will be a little bit warmer than nothing than just normal underwear But it is really really comfortable to wear uh, because of kind of this setup here Which is why their underwear and Saks underwear are very comfortable to wear as well um, So yeah, I'm a big fan of these. I don't think they're worth $80 to be totally honest with you um, I think there's Adidas and Nike products at $80 are much nicer in terms of compression or base layers than what the my package stuff or the beneath stuff is um, it's really solid. I think if you can find them for forty dollars or less, they're steel, and that's kind of what I would pay for them. Um, they're definitely better than like a lot of the kind of cheaper base layers I find. For so, for example, Old Navy stuff. I think you can get for about thirty bucks. These are definitely better than that, um, but they're not. I don't think they're worth the eighty dollar like Tech Fit or Nike Pro stuff. I think that stuff is a little bit better. But for if you can get it for a little bit less. Huge recommendation from that from for the my package of these stuff. It is really nice and comfortable So next we'll go on to the sacks and like I said the sacks ones have a much thicker band So I'm a fan of that um, you can see inside it says kinetic and the size on there So these ones I ended up I end up wearing for player. They also have the nice kind of cup for Your junk and it does a really good job of my player gear holding everything in place where I need it to be um, But it's not quite as tight um, add and flatten out as the my package ones are so it allows a cup to really cup everything really nicely So these ones as well are kind of a light 
compression. Um, they're kind of a, like this material is definitely softer and feels a bit thicker, but I think I feel this material breathes a little bit better than the My Package one does. Um, the design is, like I'm not a huge fan of it, but I don't really, it goes under my clothes, so I don't really care that much. Um, but very comfortable, very breathes well, keeps me cool, doesn't get too hot, um, and doesn't get gross when it's all wet. So I'm a big fan of these as well. They, they both retail for a pretty similar price. So everything I said for the My Package is pretty much for the sacks as well. If I were to get another pair, I'd probably get the sacks just because of the band is thicker. Um, and that I just like that as personal preference. Uh, besides that, that's about it for this review of the My Package and sorry, the My Package and the Saks Kinetic. Also, these are called Beneath now. Um, base layer pants. Now, I wore these, again, I wore these for hockey. Um, big fan of them. Definitely recommend them, but not for their full price, eighty dollars, maybe around forty bucks. And I, I'm talking about eighty dollars Canadian. Um, so about forty bucks Canadian. I think they're kind of worth it, and you should probably check them out. So thank you very much for watching. Um, let me know if you have any com comments or questions, leave them below. Remember, I hate to say this, remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links are in the description below. Helps me get uh, just more people and get me on the map so I can get more gear and stuff like this so I can do reviews and talk about it. As well as if you ever make a purchase from a piece, a manufacturer, um, please reach out to social media, them on social media, just mention it, it gets me on the radar so again, I can get more stuff. So I can do reviews and stuff like this because my wallet is hurting. Thank you very much for watching and take it easy.